much. Imagine getting leukemia in third grade and during years of chemo, and then a bone marrow transplant finally cures you. And then you develop a lethal complication where the transplant is what's killing you. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how stem cells saved a young man's life. That's right. You know, the complication is called graft versus host disease, or GVHD. It happens because a bone marrow transplant gives you a new immune system that sometimes tries to reject the recipient. Looking at Cameron Kushesh walking through his college quad today, you'd never know that he's a living example of the future of medicine. It all started years ago on Cameron's last day of third grade. I had the world's worst fever, felt sicker than I ever had. The diagnosis was acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Within days, Cameron started two and a half years of intensive chemotherapy. You start to lose your hair. You start to feel quite just generally ill. <laughs> um, you start to have neurological symptoms as well. And after all that, Cameron still had leukemia. That led his family to a cross-country search for help and eventually to Duke Medical Center and stem cell pioneer, Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg, who performed a bone marrow transplant on Cameron, a grueling process. He received whole body radiation and high dose chemotherapy, uh, and then the infusion of the donor cells. It looked like the transplant worked. Cameron's leukemia was gone. Then he developed a feared complication after a bone marrow transplant, graft versus host disease, or GVHD. If steroids do not work, which was his situation, there's about an 80% mortality within six months. That's when Dr. Kurtzberg went for the medical version of a Hail Mary. She asked Mesoblast, a cell therapy company, for a compassionate use exemption to use their experimental stem cell treatment. A simple infusion of specialized stem cells over the span of eight weeks shut down Cameron's lethal GVHD. That was almost 10 years ago. Today, Cameron is not just cancer and GVHD free, He's a first-year med student at Harvard who believes in the power of stem cells. They know where to go, they know what to do, and they are the treatment of the future. Now, the mesoblast treatment is made from donor bone marrow stem cells that are processed to make them generic, meaning they don't have to be matched to the recipient. They are truly an off-the-shelf therapy. Mesoblast just this week applied for FDA approval for this life-saving product, and that's already approved in Canada and Japan. This is something that could save an awful lot of lives.